pessoal do Nós Nerds, tudo bem? Hoje a gente está aqui na War Horse, é, criadores de The Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, I, I am with Toby. Uh, he is the PR manager of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, I mean, I already told that. So, uh, Toby, what can you tell about the story of the game? Uh, I mean, where did you guys get this story from and yeah. decided we are going to do a medieval game? In the very beginning, we uh, thought that there are so many RPGs on the market. I mean, they're all great, Skyrim, Witcher, and so on. Yep. But no one really tried to make something like the real deal, like real medieval ages, real castles, real knights, real sword. Everyone has dra uh, dragons and magic and so on, which is not a bad thing. It's cool. But we thought, let's do it realistic. So we said, Kingdom Come Deliverance, a realistic open world RPG. But why this story of Bohemia? Because the studio is located in Prague, in Czech Republic. Yeah. and Bohemia was Czech Republic back then in the 15th century, so it's easy for us to visit the castles, the churches, the places and so on, talk to the people who are working there and try to transfer it into the game. So this was the very first um, idea and then we hired for the team a full-time historian to make sure that we keep it as realistic as possible. And I know probably you have been asked a lot, so, but how long did you guys start the prototype of the game and said all right we think the uh, people is going to want to buy it extremely long <laughs> so well the studio was created in 2011 but uh, we tried to find an investor in the beginning yeah. so the real development of kingdom come deliverance started in 2014 right so three years of trying to find money in 2014 we could actually finally start because we, we went on kickstarter it was positive everything great we could start so And the game was released in February 2018, so exactly four years. However, in between, we started to release, I think, five alpha versions and one beta version. So we always try to be very close to the community, show them what we are working on. This is cool, this is bad, give us your feedback and so on. But like the overall development was four years for Kingdom Come Deliverance. However, we are on the release on February. We are continuing with bug fixing, with adding new free content for the game, also premium DLCs and so on, so we try to keep it alive. Yeah, um, I remember I played since the, when the game was released. There was a lot of bugs, a lot of um, small things that you know, make the gamer kind of a little sad, mm -hmm. but you guys fix it. Yeah, yeah. Today the game is completely different, I mean, in terms of bugs and problems that he had on the, on the past. And why did you guys choose first person? And uh, I mean, you guys said realism. Do you believe realism is the strongest thing in the game? I mean, a lot of games you go and you start attacking and go on, go on. Here is a lot of um, lock, yeah. wait, yeah, attack, yeah. go back. Yeah. And you guys believe that that was mo the, the thing that brought everyone mm -hmm. to play the game? Well, the first person thing was a decision we did very early. We thought that this is the best way to create immersion so that the player, when he plays it, is really feeling the tense of the fight, for example. When he's on the horse, for example, or sees the castle in the back, that he has the way better feeling when he sees it all first person. Some people were in the beginning saying, ah, I want third person. But then when they started to play it, I think most of the people were okay with the fact that it's, single, uh, that it's first person only. About the bugs, I wanted to say, uh, in the beginning of the, the, when we released the game, and we got the reviews from journalists, they said, good game, but buggy. Which is totally fair, because... Yeah. The, the story of the game is great. I and played this, so, it's, this it's was awesome. so important for us, because if they say the story is bad, or the, the concept is bad, first person is bad, or I don't know, realism is bad, then we cannot change it, because that's the game. But the bugs, that's something we can fix. And we did it so far, and we are fixing and fixing and fixing and patching and patching and patching. And I think, uh, as you said, it changed to the better. And it, every, every, every now in, uh, th uh, in, in, in October 16th, we are releasing uh, the Emirates Adventures of Sir Hans Kepis, so or the second DLC. And this will have another patch again, patch 1.7 and so on. And what you can tell me about the new DLC? I mean, there's something exclusive, something... What... Um, our hero is going to yeah. to expect well the amorous adventures of uh, bolzer hans capen 
it's a very long name, but let's call it Amorous Adventures, uh, is focused a lot on the story of Kingdom Come and a lot on the humor of Kingdom Come. So if you like the fun in the game, if you like, like for example, the quest with the with the prize who's puking and drinking and, and so on, if you like this, the humor of Kingdom Come, you will love this DLC because it's all about this. And you are actually Hans Capon, one of the main characters of the game. He's in love with Carolina, but uh, he wants to confess the love with a big boom. Not just tell her, but he wants like a real show, and he wants your help to get Carolina. So he wants you to find a, ju uh, a family jewelry, but the idiot lost it at gambling, so you need to find it somewhere. But, but now there is a question that I, I just remember: well, when you guys relieved uh, from the ashes, do you guys uh, what were you guys thinking of? I mean, it was an RPG, and then uh, you put some administration, uh, like you are the bailiff now. Yeah. Well, you know when we. Uh, when we released the game and saw that it is successful, after that we were uh, preparing the DLC plan. So we were collecting what the people wanted. They wanted some kind of, I want to rule a city, I want to be leader or something. This is historically not so correct, so we said, well, okay, at least you can get this Bayleaf title and then try to manage this place. And uh, some people were not so happy with it because when they finish the game and have a lot of money, then the DLC is easy. But if you connect it to the regular game, and do it naturally, then it's very interesting, a very interesting addition to the game. However, there was no deep questing inside. The questing comes now with the second, third and fourth yeah. DLC. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I played, of course, and that, that is the thing, that it's realistic. In that ages, the, you are not a noble man. Yes. Uh, so you don't have much, you don't have nothing from the start. Uh, I mean, you have something because of your father, yeah. uh, you're the blacksmith. So he has something, but then when the attack comes, you are nothing. You are you you are literally ashes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so you start to going up, going up, and then you start to be, be kind of turned to a noble. Yeah. But I would say it's it's not you are not the real yeah. nobleman in the Middle Ages, yeah. medieval ages. Um, but I think the game's awesome. I played. And I enjoy it. I, I think I thought it was very difficult <laughs> well, because um, I wasn't um, expecting the combat to be. Um, I'm not going to say too slow, mm -hmm. but it's it's kind of slower than yes, the regular true. ones. Yes. So um, not that a bad thing. That's a great thing yeah, yeah. in my opinion. It's less, less action-oriented and more about tactics and trying to read the opponent and blocking and so on. So yeah, yeah. it goes like, um, I don't know if you know, Musashi. Yeah. yeah so it goes on that, um, there is the book of the Five Rings, mm -hmm. if I'm, I, might, I might be wrong. I don't remember the name. I read the book, but I don't remember the name. <laughs> and, the, and the book says that um, to, the, you have to learn the, the, how your opponent breathes and everything to break his... Uh, his opponent, your opponent, yeah. um, in, in his head, psychological attack. Yeah. So, um, are you going to see that in the new DLC? Uh, well, yes and no. Well, in the premium DLC, not, but with the DLC, we are releasing a free DLC, and yeah. this will be the tournament mode. So, in Ratai, which is the biggest city in the game, there will be a tournament going on, and every seven days you can go there and actually fight. And there you have one versus one, more fighting, you have to win when you when you get to the end you get unique armor pieces and so on so this will be the place where only your skill counts only your rpg stats and you can actually train or use what you trained in the world and try to win in a tournament uh, yeah you said about the, to have more immersion that's why you choose the first person do you believe that um, you can bring it at least a better for vr or you know ah. to try to make the experience better well, i mean it's a very good question. Uh, so when we develop the game, uh, Kingdom Come works on, I don't know if now the final game, but while developing it worked on um, Oculus Rift. So we were playing with it in the studio. However, when you put on the Oculus Rift and then go on a horse or go fighting, it's like motion sickness. Like, imme like you immediately felt super sick. And we don't have the time and resources to actually uh, optimize it in the way that we make it like uh, VR ready and it's a just way too big game for do this so unfortunately we will not support this yeah but if you have oculus 
you can at least try it and see how it looks like. It actually looks amazing when you stand in front of the castle or the horse or something. It, it really is impressive. But we were not. Yeah, I, I imagine that it's going to be really impressive because you are more immersed to the to everything. You you can almost feel the yeah, things. Yeah, but then you puke all over <laughs> yourself and then. Well, if you, if if you are in the bar yeah. and you are yeah. drinking yeah. in the yeah. game. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's exactly. Going to be 100% yeah, accurate. exactly. One shot out of the other. Yeah. So, thank you very much for the interview. You're very welcome. And now we are going to play the new DLC.